Welcome back to another episode guys. We are going to start where we left off. We are cooking up some of the bass fillets from Zach's Big Bass. We've got Dean the Chef. He's cooking, well, I don't really know what he's cooking. It's going to be a surprise, but I imagine it's going to be amazing. He's getting tucked into those honky outdoor spices. Maybe a little bit too much. Dean, our chef, for cooking us a nice sea bass. Sea bass tortellini, which is a new new dish. We've managed to use, what, like five different stoves because we've been running out of yeah. gas all night. Running out of gas? Yeah. Running out of gas. Um, it's going to go down a storm because we've not ate since diving. Uh, we've used a bit of spices from Hungry Outdoors, who sent them from Australia. Can't wait to taste them. With the sea bass tortellini going down an absolute storm and a couple beers later we were all in bed. And with that, it wasn't long before it was breakfast. And when you're in Cornwall, you have a Cornish pasty. So we fill ourselves up a Cornish pasty, which is probably the worst thing for diving, and we get back out there. The day's looking amazing, the sun's out, and it's boat day. So we're just getting the boat ready to go in the water. Gang gang. And hit some spots up. And we're hopefully smash it. Yeah. Murder the bass! Someone's got a new gun to try. Invert roller, what well, it was yesterday, right? I haven't told this story before. I would have hit several bass bigger than the one that I got, which was borderline eight pound. But if I had an inverter roller, then I would have reached out and touched the heart and mind of the bass. So we've now got one. And we're, we're gonna, gonna do just that. Give it a go. Right, here we go. My turn for a big boy today, so. So we're just heading down to the boat now, we're all kitted up. Dean has got the boat <laughs> down at the slip. Um, Zach is holding his gun very um, possessively because of this. If he had this yesterday, I don't know if he knew, he would uh, probably, probably have haven't said it yet, right? But <laughs> I could have had that eight pound slab of bass I landed yesterday. I'd have had two more like it, one bigger, should I have had a roller or something with a bit more range. So now I've got this. He's on. Oh, we're going to find out anyway. So just, uh, we had a tip from a local about a spot he recommended, so we're going to give it a bash, see if there's any bass about, good one that, and hopefully uh, get some nice slabs of me and, and no, there's a big bass for the roller, inverted roller, yeah. which if you didn't know, if I had yesterday, I would have had two more like, here it is, oh. <laughs> <laughs> So I jumped in and I went right over to the shallows. I was in search of the stringweed and the shallow water, lots of little rocky inlets and outlets and caves and stuff where the bass could be hiding. Uh, the viz was pretty good, thankfully. Unfortunately, I wasn't seeing the fish. I was going nice, low and slow like I have been before and there was just nothing moving. So eventually I came over to one last little bit of rocky stringweed environment before a beach and I seen a bass just tucked right in. Unfortunately, I did not get him on the, the kill shot on the camera, but I managed to video afterwards. 
Nice sized bass. I'm pretty happy with anyway. With not much fish coming in in the next half an hour to 40 minutes, we decided to change location and do a bit of different environment hunting. We want deeper water, nice big kelpie reefs in the search of pollock and some other species. Well, with the vis being amazingly clear, but unfortunately no pollock in sight, we were about to head in, and then I overheard Dean talking about a ras ceviche he likes to make. So I stayed out a bit longer, and I wasn't going to let him get away with that, so I managed to get down into the kelp and shoot one before we left. That's all coming to the end of our diving day. It's been a long day. Sinuses are cleared. We've got a couple fish on board. We're all pretty happy. The next thing that would top it off is a nice cold drink at the pub.
nice diving. Yeah. But it's definitely beer o'clock. Your dive pre routine and aftercare of um, your hair. Make sure you always leave some uh, stay in shampoo and conditioner <laughs> so you have luscious locks like mine. <laughs> you smell fresh. Yeah. Oh, you look so silky smooth. <laughs> I think you need a bit as well, don't you, Zach? Yeah, yeah. Zach, you, your hair's really knotty, isn't it? I've had a dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We've just come back in, boats up on the slip. It's been an awesome day diving. We did nearly lose the drone, that was pretty scary. That was intense, but character building at the same character time. Building. So it was all good. Uh, oh. We've done a lot of shallow water hunting. I ended up with a bass. Uh, Zach, you've seen a few, but just couldn't get into them. No, no. Uh, a nice table sized fish. <laughs> and we said we were going to make some ras ceviche, so I couldn't help myself. I shot a decent sized ras. At a respectable depth. A good yeah. 13, 14 meters. Yeah. So. Not bad, the viz was absolutely lovely. Mm. Um, I did see a lot of big wrasse with loads of lice on them, so I left them be. Anyway, awesome day diving folk, and I can't wait for tomorrow, I think we're out. Yeah. See you later. Before I go, I might as well throw some footage up of the wrasse ceviche that Dean was talking about. So I start off by filleting the fish, de-skinning it, and taking out as much bones as possible, and then I'm just dicing it up into small sized chunks not too big because you want them to cook in the citric acid and it doesn't take too long to cook in the citric acid which we're using limes for this one and it's made a nice little mixture of shallots and small tomatoes i'm going to put this whole recipe in the description below so check out the whole lot and see if you can make it yourself We're not just having Dean's famous Rastavici, but he's also going to treat us to Dean's Tranquillian Curry. i never heard of it before, but it sounds good. Here you can see that Rast is going quite white and that's it cooking in all the citric acid. The Rastavici go down an absolute storm, it was really 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 good. So I urge you to give this a go. It's a lot better than cooking ras, I find, as that goes quite mushy a lot of the time. So give ras ceviche a go. Now it's tranquilin curry time, which again, we're using the other bass fillets from yesterday, from Zach's Big Bass. And he start, Dean starts by pan frying it and then getting the, all the curry spices going. Again, I'm gonna put this recipe down in the description. So give it a go and see what you think. With the dark setting in and Dean's Tranquilin Curry going down an absolute storm, probably one of the best fish curries I've had in a very, very long time. The day was even better diving, good people, despite the lack of fish, it's not always about shooting the fish, it's just about getting out there and really enjoying it. So it's time to have a couple more beers and hit the hay for our last day diving tomorrow. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed and wait till next week for the next episode.